Hello, here is Moon and I have a Canadian lock. This is a challenge lock made by Mark called Apres Key. That's his first one. It was apparently around for a few months already. And it, well, I like engraving a lot. There are ski poles, skis, ah, some nice mountains. I don't know whether it's a tip on a profile, but I think the way the key is wrapped is kind of cute. So if you want, you can really see the bitting, but I don't. Engraving on the key, nicely done. And it came with a shim. So let's see if I can get far enough to actually how to use it. Click from something, uh, counter rotation on something in the back. So I guess we are down to spools already. There might not have been standards. I'm just trying to find a binder and well set it. I'm using quite thin pick because it allows me to work from the bottom of the keyway. I just like it this way. Allows me to keep worrying about the wording. I just pick through it. All right, let's see if I might have forgotten some pins in the rear. It feels okay, it feels okay. Front one might be the culprit. Mm. Let me get some sicker pick after all. Oh, and it <laughs> passes through just as well, so no reason for a sin one really. Uh, something, some more core rotation. We are not quite open yet. Let's see what is holding us up. Feels like we are pretty close. All right, another click. But not an open yet. strange. Click out of it and it's open. It does look like mountains. Let's just close it and see. Yeah, the key works nicely. So let's now got it.
nothing special in there. Looks pretty stock inside. Outside it's definitely not stock, it's engraved really cool. And that. It's been a while since I <coughs> got it a padlock. So I'll have to be real careful not to screw it up. All right. That's not the shim provided with the core, but I hope it will work just as well. Let's see, do I even have a small follower? Yep, I do. Six pins, very nice. Quite flush with the core. Let's get the key out. Yeah, you see, quite, quite typical bidding. The first one is low lift, hanging high, low, high, low, mountains. Okay. Now. Try to do it quickly and then show everything close up. The core is threaded. It's both ways, on one side and the other side. It did provide a couple of clicks. Threading is not very deep though. I mean, not, not going deep down into the core. And the drivers. Wow, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is cool. Some very nice pin work in there. Some pins, oh, another one of these. Pins barely clear shear line. I have no idea how to call these pins. And in three and five, there are wafers, I believe, to make to make this fun things work. It's, I don't know which one was that. There is a stronger spring in one of the chambers. Uh, I'll clarify it for him later with him later on. And let's see. That looks stock. So core and the pins are it's really where the magic happens. So let's have a closer look at the key and the pins. Come on, focus. Apress key by Mog with very nice pins. I don't know, serrated spool, T pins, whatever. Really cool ones. Thanks, Mog, and thank you for watching. Bye.